Now, what is a quick sort procedure? So we have to write quick sort and assume we have the index location A, P and R where starting index location is P and ending index location is R and then we have to do if P is less than R then we have to partition so Q will be partition A, P and R and then we have to call this function recursively again quick sort A, P, Q minus 1 and then we have to call quick sort A, Q plus 1 to R okay so this complete is your quick sort procedure so what happened in this case is assume we are having this following array there are some values and some index locations here assume the initial index location is p and the ending index location is r okay and initially if p is less than r that means if at least there is one one or one more than one element if at least there is more than one element in that case we have to do q is equal to partition a p r that means we are going to call partitioning procedure onto this array and then in the partitioning procedure initially we are going to assume this is the pivot element and wherever or with whatever value this pivot element will be swapped then we are going to call this part quick sort in the lower half and then we are going to call this quick sort in the upper half assume this pivot element will be swapped with this value okay then uh, this value this position will be returned by i which will be stored by q so q will be here and again we are going to call quick sort into this part and then quick sort into this part okay so in the same in both these parts we are going to again repeat the same procedure fine now let us take an example to understand what this quick sort procedure is and how exactly this quick sort position is going to swap this array now let fine. us understand this quick sort procedure here so I'm going to make a recursive tree which is going to tell what are the recursive calls which you made here and for that let me just number the lines this is line number one this is line number two and this is line number three okay so assume we have the following array we have the array like this which is having five values which is four three five six and assume we have the value which is again 5 fine so I believe it is fine or let us take one more value here so let me take 2 here and 3 here that will be better I guess fine now this is the array A index locations are assume 1 2 3 4 5 okay so I am repeating this again whenever we are writing an algorithm that means if we write an algorithm in that case for simplicity we assume that index locations are starting from 1 but if we write a program in that case we assume that index locations are starting from 0 because in case of algorithm we want to make it as simple as possible and algorithms are programming language independent fine. So initially we are going to call quick sort on this array so we are going to call quick sort a p is 1 and r is 5 so we are going to call quick sort a 1 5 right in that case this if condition if is if 1 is less than 5 yes it will be executed then this condition is true so we are going to execute the line number 1 and the line number 1 is going to find what is the value of q that means perform a partition on this and from wherever this 3 will be swapped please give us the index location of that position sign so, fine so let us apply partitioning in this case so in the case of partitioning so what will happen here so initially j will point here and i will be somewhere here that means one location less than this and we will be having a pivot element which will be here okay now compare 4 and 3 4 is greater than 3 therefore nothing will happen we are just going to increment the value of j now compare 2 and 3, 2 is less than 3, hence we are going to increment the value of i 
and then we are going to increment the values pointed by i and j so we are going to swap the values pointed by i and j so what will happen 2 will come here and 4 will come here okay for simplicity i'm just going to change these values fine so what will happen 2 will come here and then 4 will come here okay so this is 4 don't confuse it this is 4 fine again we are going to increment the value of j now this 5 is greater than 3 hence we are not going to do anything again increment the value of j now this 6 is greater than 3 we are not going to do anything again increment the value of j now, now if this value this value is less than or equal to the pivot value hence we are going to swap the value we are going to increment the value of 5 and then we are going to swap it therefore i will point here and then we are going to swap the values pointed by j and i therefore what will happen instead of 4 3 will come here and 4 will come here fine so after this what is the value of i the value of i is 2 because the value of i is 2 therefore this q will get a value which will be 2 fine that means we have executed the line number 1 now we are going to execute the line number 2 in case of line number 2 we are going to call quick sort a 1 comma 1 because it is a p q minus 1 so a 1 comma 1 the value of q is 2 therefore it will be 1 fine now because it is a recursive call we have to execute this statement first before executing that one so in this case you can see if this is p and this is r then p is not less than r that means the first condition is failed again we we'll go back to the previous case and then we are going to make a call which is quick sort a q plus 1 to r so we are going to make quick sort a 3 comma 5 right so in this recursive call again we have to find do a partitioning procedure here okay so we are going to make a partition and then that partition going to return the value of q hence we have to apply the partition procedure in this part so we have this 3 4 and 5 in the case of partition procedure we have pivot which will be here we will be having j here and i here now this 4 is greater than 4 this 5 is greater than 4 hence we are not going to do anything we will just increment the value of j this 6 is greater than 4 hence we are not going to do anything just increment the value of j now this 4 is less than equal to 4 hence we are going to increment the value of i and then we are going to swap these two values okay so 4 will come here and 5 will come here or more clearly just 4 will come here and 5 will come here okay and by the end the value of i will be 3 hence the value which will be which q will be getting will be 3 okay after this this quick sort is going to call the line number 2 therefore it is going to call perform quick sort on a uh, 3 comma 2 that is q minus 1 but here p is not less than r hence nothing will happen again we will go back to the previous call and then we are going to call quick sort a 4 comma 5 that means q plus 1 to r okay that means perform quick sort onto this part that is 6 and 5 so if we perform quick sort on 6 and 5 then what will happen initially we have to do partitioning so we have to find the value of q here again so if we are doing partitioning then pivot will be here we will be having j here and i here now this 6 is greater than 5 hence we are not going to do anything just increment the value of j now this 5 is less than or equal to 5 hence increment the value of i and then swap these two values therefore 5 will come here and 6 will come here ok so the value of i will be 4 therefore q will be getting 4 hence again it is going to do a recursive call which will be quick sort a 4 uh, uh, this will be p comma q minus 1 that is 4 comma 3 but in this case p is not less than r hence we are not going to do anything again we will go back to the previous statement and we are going to call quick sort a uh, q plus 1 to 
or that means 5 comma 5 again p is not less than r therefore we will go back to the previous case this statement has executed all these three statements all these three statements hence we are going to go back to this this also executed all these three statements and this also executed all these three statements so after these recursive calls you can see the last element or okay after these recursive calls you can easily see that this complete array is already sorted fine so this is the quick sort procedure okay if you do not understand this just remind the video and watch it again i'm sure you will understand this one very easily so let me take one more example which will be the worst case for quick sort so just initially before that just try to understand what is the time complexity of quick sort okay now in case of quick sort if you see the partitioning procedure you can find out that the time complexity of partitioning procedure is order of n fine and then what will the uh, time complexity of quick sort so assume we are having the best case here so we'll be having three cases best case worst case and average case fine so in case of best case we assume that this uh, quick sort every time we are going to partition then partition will be from the exact middle what I mean to say is so if you are applying quick sort on any array and you find out that there is a partition right and this partitioning will take order of n time but if it is doing a partition and the partition is from the exact middle then we have to apply quick sort in the lower half and we have to apply the quick sort in the upper half and these lower and upper half will be equal okay for simplicity we are going to assume in case of best case we are saying if we apply quick sort on the end data items then time taken to sort end data items will be equal to time taken to sort the first half that means the first n n by two data items plus time taken to sort the second half that means the second n by two data items plus time taken to do partitioning which will be equal to time taken to sort n data items so which will be equal to 2 into time taken to sort n by 2 data items plus n okay so this is a recursive relation so let us just solve this recursive relation to find out what is the best case time complexity for quick sort fine so